Don't fill up on bread! <laughs> Ricky. I'm Jamie. And this week we are talking about people with legendary character. Jamie, what's a legendary character for you? Oh, Harry Potter. Oh, or um, Wonder Woman is a good character. I see. I should clarify. I mean, someone who has good character. Oh, I see what you mean. Like a role model. Precisely. But I guess we could do a better job of defining what it means to have good character. Yeah. Oh, let's talk to somebody that has all the answers. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, no. I meant Quizman. Yeah. Yeah. People say he wasn't just an ordinary quiz man. He was a legend. It's time for the quiz thing. Hi, I'm Quizman. Let's play a little game called Clap Judgment. I want you to clap once if the person that I name was known for being a bad guy. If I say the name and they were a good guy, then you clap twice. Let's do a test round. If I say Gandalf, you clap twice. That's exactly right, because Gandalf was a good guy. Some of you didn't clap. Clap twice, man. Don't be a party pooper. You're not feeling it today. Everybody do it. Come on. Come on. All right, let's do the real one, for real. Okay, here we go. Robin Hood. Sherlock Holmes, The Joker, Indiana Jones, Dracula, Tarzan, Moses, Katniss Everdeen, Freddy Krueger, Han Solo, Lady Macbeth. It's Shakespeare. If you don't know it, let's just go ahead and do one clap. Thanos. Is that a clap or a snap? That guy at the store with the eyebrows. That's a one clap. That's not a good guy. He's always like, hey, my eyes are down here, man. He's got eyebrows that look like he glued three more fake eyebrows on top of his original. It looks like two baby rabbits fighting each other, like <coughs> The guy who looks like Bert from Sesame Street. Remember that guy that asked me to move his car? It's his brother. He's, I don't know what it is about that family. Hey, let me give you an answer key. Here it is. You get them all right? So when it comes to literary characters, it's pretty easy to tell who a good guy is and who the bad guys are. But we're not talking about character in terms of like characters, we're talking about having character. This is like what you hear when people say, this will help you build your character, or this camping trip is really gonna build character. Hey, you walk a mile in another man's boots, it's gonna build your character. It'll build your character if you practice shaving with a butter knife. Stop crying just because a horse came into your bar mitzvah. <laughs> Take your sister to the dance. Chew on bark. Rub your face on leather. Would you please show a little character? We're talking about having character, but what does that even mean? Let's define it. Let's do a little math problem, okay? Character equals what you believe times X. Let's solve for X. Is it A, 12, B, 33, C, four squared, or D, how you act? Well, of course it's gonna be D, the one with the words. This is not the math thing with math man. This is the quiz thing with quiz man. It's how you act. Character equals what you believe times how you act. So if you believe that you should take someone else's bagel and then you actually take someone else's bagel, that's bad character. If you lie, cheat, and steal, and you think that that's okay, people are gonna say that you have a bad character. They're gonna clap once and say that you're a villain. If you treat people with kindness and honesty and you try to leave things a little bit better than you found them, people would probably say that you have good character. There's only one flaw with this whole equation, and that's when you start adding in sin. Our sinful nature inside of us craves weird things, and it makes it hard sometimes to know what the right decision is. We need a guide. Just like the Bible says in Galatians 5.16, So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. Look at that. The words are right there on the screen. I've never had words on... <laughs> ah. It's real hot. <laughs> it's real hot, and I wish that I had known. If someone had told me don't touch the words from the get-go, then I wouldn't have burned my finger. So, don't touch the words. 
Don't touch the words. Okay. What were we talking about? People with legendary character know that you have to change the equation. Biblical math says that legendary character is what you believe times how you act plus the Holy Spirit. You needed a guide and now you've got one. I've got one last clap judgment for you. Insert your name here plus the Holy Spirit. That's two claps. That is two claps. That's a two clap legend right there. There are heroes and there are villains and there are legends. Don't just be good, be legendary. I'm the quiz man. Goodbye. People in my life with legendary character are people who I look up to. They are your role models. You better believe it. Which brings us to our role model challenge. Ready or not. Here we crust. Crumb. I, I, oh, that's better. Yes. Better. Role model challenge. Using the provided rolls and toothpicks, quickly sculpt what is on the card. You have two minutes. Okay. Your partner must guess what you are sculpting. Ooh, okay. Okay, I think I'm ready for this. All right. Okay, great. I'm ready. Start the timer. Okay, great. Bread. Two breads. Um, bread, narwhal. It's a foot. Great, it's a foot great. Bread. You're doing good. Bread, You're foot. doing it's a good. House. Two halves. Two halves don't make a whole. Two wrongs don't make a right. A shark, alligator, a uh, killer whale, a shark. Oh, I'm close. Alligator, crocodile. Stapler! Was that okay? <laughs> it's a stapler! Well done! That is solid! Yay! Thanks, I tried! <laughs> With so much time to spare. Well done! There we go. Okay, my turn. Okay. I'm ready. Bread. Three, four, five, six pieces of bread. Mm -hmm. a, a fire, a campfire. A ring. Um, a bowl. A bread bowl. <laughs> That'd be funny. It would be. Yeah. It's not. Okay, it's not a bread bowl. Um, it is a hula hoop. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. Um, uh, the Colosseum. Uh, the Eiffel Tower. It's a building. Um, was I close to, oh, I guess no, I can't. No, not pass. even. Oh, I'm not even, okay. All right, I'll go in a different direction. Um, it is the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Oh, uh, it's, it's a witch's hat. It's a, uh, um, your hat. Uh, uh, Cat in the Hat's hat. Um, hat. Top hat. It's a top hat. It's a top hat! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yay! Oh, whoa. Uh, 12 seconds left. Uh, uh, this is excellent. Excellent. Very stressed. That was too <laughs> close. That was very close. Hey guys, it's Jen. So as we're trying to figure out what does it look like to live out legendary character, I have a great check for us. It's is our life producing fruit. See, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And we can maybe do one or two of these things on our own, but we can't have all of them unless the Holy Spirit is in our life. And so, is your life producing love? Are you being kind? Are you being joyful? Wait, an avocado? Probably not. But when the Holy Spirit is in our life, it means that we can live out all of these things. So what does that look like for real, in real life? Well, maybe it's when you're at school and somebody is by themselves at lunch and you choose to show them love by going over and hanging out with them. Or maybe it's when your little brother or sister is like really annoying, but you choose that you're gonna be patient and gentle anyway. Or maybe it's when you lose a game or after practice when you've kind of had your rear handed to you and you decide that you're not going to get angry because you can be self-controlled. The Holy Spirit guiding our lives means that we don't have to do what our sinful nature wants to do, which is to be angry and selfish and self-focused and maybe even lie to protect ourselves. Instead, we can have all of this fruit of the Spirit because He is our guide. So is your life producing fruit?
So now we're gonna do the special lightning round of the roll challenge. We only have one minute to complete our role model. I, I think mean, you can do it. I don't know if I can. What? You did great. Yeah, I had 12 seconds left. Just because of my poor guessing. Uh, okay, are we ready? You're right, it is all your fault. You can start the timer. Three rolls. Oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah. Ooh, a spikes, a spike trap. Um, a porcupine. Five porcupines. Six porcupines, how, no. Okay, took two little things, and then you put it, what? Oh my gosh, alligator? A car, a spiky car, monster truck! Uh, 10 seconds, I, I have no idea what this is. A turtle, a, spi a spiky turtle. Okay, so he technically got it. It was a porcupine, but it's a crying porcupine. <laughs> yeah, so I tried to draw uh. eyes and, and have some tears coming down. That's what that's that's what was happening here. But yeah, so you did great. A crying porcupine. Yes. <laughs> My porcupine life is so spiky. Oh, no, no. Spiky, 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 My turn. Let's okay. get... Before we get started, there's no way you're gonna guess this. I am ready. A car, a bridge, a train, a pancake, a, um... Uh, yes, uh, it's a roller coaster. A, a, uh, the statue of David. Uh, it is the, oh, I know it. I know this. This That's is impossible. This is, um, uh, the manger scene where Jesus was born. This is a camel. This is, oh, uh, um, a sled with a snowman on it. This is a sleigh ride. Uh, this is Santa Claus in his, in his sleigh, uh, skiing, sledding, uh, uh, snow, mountains, uh, oh, skateboarding, a snowman skateboarding, Santa Claus skateboarding, um, Jesus skateboarding. Was I close? I mean, kind of, yeah. What is it? It's a kangaroo on the skateboard. I did, that was good. Uh, oh, th this there's is, the pouch. Yeah. So it's the, the pouch. Yeah, so this is a kangaroo on a skateboard, and the kangaroo was doing kick flips, like, yeah, yeah, Forward. I wish I had paid more attention to the Wait, what did you do? What will I pause the show? You can't do that. <laughs> I'm the internet. I can do all kinds of things. Besides, didn't you want to talk to them about the legendary character online? I did. Well, now's your chance. Go on, go, do it, go on. I'm Kaylin, and this is the internet. <laughs> Rebels. The internet is powerful and it's part of your life. That's right. My digital world provides you with endless possibilities and perils. There is an endless flow of information into your life. So we're here to give you some tips so that you can stay safe and stay smart. Wow! Responsibility! Tip number one, set your own boundaries. Your parents will set limits for what devices you can use and time limits for when you can be online, but they won't always be there to cover your eyes or ah. look over your shoulder. <laughs> Independence! But no shadow does not equal no standards. That's right. Know your character before you jump online. Don't just accept anything and everything. Just because you can eat grass doesn't mean you should. <laughs> Searching for grass recipes. Zero results found. Number two, you're not anonymous. Ooh, I know everything about you. You might think you're hidden because your screen name is Silly Guy 25 <laughs> or Smoky Eyes 33, <laughs> or your avatar makes you look like a cartoon character. You, you wanna be a chicken? I can do that. You wanna be a soldier? I can do that too. You wanna be, you wanna be a paperclip or a cloud or, or, okay, or a okay, tangerine? Okay, okay, we get it. Exploration is not a license to act unhealthy. Even behind a screen, you're responsible for your actions. Oh, responsibility! And final tip, protect your reputation. Is who you are right now online the same person you want to be 10 years from now? Mm. If you post it, I keep it forever. 
every picture, comment, thought, post, I keep it all. <laughs> right now, you have the power to control your identity and your reputation. Think about this. If you don't want it public tomorrow, don't post it today. Yeah! Before you hop online, think about those tips. Good character is a launch pad into more independence. You control your character. So, unpause the show so they can get back to it. Oh, right. Unpause! I love grape jelly. Yeah. These role models are really good. This week, we hope that you recognize the role models that you have in your life. Yeah, and be known for your legendary character. Let the Holy Spirit guide your thoughts and actions. Until next time, enjoy, enjoy the, the ride. ride! Or enjoy the rye. Oh my. You see, rye is a kind of bread, and we're eating bread. The yeast you could do is laugh. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Like, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, oh, it hit me like in the face. It was quite alarming. <laughs> okay, I think we can go for seven. <laughs>